welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka Melna Nostalgic Runner. And we are back for another, um, well, this is again different from what we've done before. If you have seen what I did um, with the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion look, um, I'm going to take a slightly different approach with the Real Housewives of Miami's um, reunion look because y'all already know how I felt about this season. I'm sorry, I keep playing with my hair. I have this one piece that is just driving me nuts and clearly I need to trim my hair because split ends are split ending. But anyway, um, if you guys have seen that video, then you know that I did a full on recap of how I felt about the whole entire season, which I am still going to do with this one. Um, but I'm going to go more or less with every individual versus the whole season because you already know I loved <laughs> I loved Real Housewives of Miami season. It was like it was given what it needs to be given and they continue to do what they do best. So y'all already know how I feel about the season as a whole. But I will um, kind of go into detail about each individual within the cast a little bit more. Along with this one, because this is a reboot, we kind of, even though some of the ladies, legacy ladies, have kind of been on the show day one, like Alexia, Lisa, and, um, wow, not even, not even just them, sorry, um, Marisol and um, Adriana, th those are like the day ones. Um, because not everyone was really on the show and it, it was a different look and feel of the original first four seasons of the show. Well, first three seasons of the show. I want to do kind of a comparison of how each Housewives reunion looks have looked since the reboot. And which of the three is our best look so far? So we're going to go into that a little bit too. So something a little bit different than Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I didn't want to do that with Real Housewives of Beverly Hills because, I mean, there's 13 seasons of the show. It's, you know, it's, it's been a while for, been around for a while. And we really only have one Real Housewife that's been there from the beginning. So it's kind of not really fair to do. Um, and they're not really known for their fashions. Like, with Miami, this, of all this, uh, almost all of the franchises, they're known for the fashions. So we could kind of tap more into the fashion side of things. Uh, so if you saw my intro, you saw that I actually had all four, I mean, I already had all three of the group um, photos for each reunion that's happened since the reboot. And every theme so far I've loved. Um, I would say the first re the first um, reunion up since the reboot season four that was probably my least favorite, but I love some of the individual reunion um, looks of that, but not as a whole. So I believe that was like kind of like a Greek theme type thing or goddess theme, and um, I don't remember because I. <laughs> I have to go back to that reunion. It's been a while. Um, but individuals looked good in that. But I will say cohesively, it actually was okay. It wasn't the best, but you can tell that was their first reboot back. I'll just say that. Now, the second last season's reunion look, the ladies brought it. I, I would say as a group, that was easily my favorite um, reunion look as a group. But I don't know. This season's reunion look as a group looks amazing too. I would say the last two seasons, group photo of the reunion look, they're cohesive, but they're still different. It, and, and side note. So <laughs> I wish the other franchise that they're not going to have a theme, like, you know, Real Housewives of... Um, Potomac or Atlanta with the colors, then maybe be able to mode it to have it where it still is cohesive as a group. And I feel like Miami does a great job of that. They may not all have the same color theme, but as a group, it still ties together for the most part. Um, they all look like they belong there. You know what I mean? It doesn't look weird or odd, odd person out. So, 
And it also doesn't look like anyone's really trying to upstage anyone. Because I feel like everyone's fashion looks different depending on what your, um, your take on how you view fashion. So yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let's go into each individual's reunion look and go from there. Okay, so the first person we're going to review, and we're going to review their season first, then we'll go their reunion look, and what I expect for them from the reunion looks, so previous all four reunion looks, and which one was best, and then what I expect in the reunion, and then lastly, um, okay, also I forgot to mention one last thing. I'm not going to say what I expect for them next season, because um, I want them to all come back next season. Like, this one is so different than all the other franchises. I don't have any need for anyone to leave. I think everyone should be, they need to keep this cast exactly how it is, even though certain people get on my nerves, aka Larsa and Lisa, but you need villains on the cast. You need a villain that you actually are invested in not liking, um, but still can, they still have episodes where you're like, oh, well. When you're right, you're right, which both of them are good at. So I know sometimes episode to episode, I've been in my feelings when it comes to some of these people, but when it comes to the Real Housewives of Miami, cast wise as a whole, we got to keep them as is. So we're not going to go into that. So that's the other thing that's going to be different about this review. But anyway, Dr. Nicole, let's go into it. So um, her season... She actually did not give us as much as she has in previous seasons. Um, but she definitely did have a storyline. And um, I think next season we're going to probably get more from her than we did this season. Because she can't bring it every season. I think this was a good season for her to kind of, you know, peel back a little bit. She did have her issues that is one-sided with um, Mirasol and Alexia. The Cubans were the Cuban women were going at it. <laughs> um, but besides that, she pretty much had she was very much a mediator when it came to this group. Um, even once they dropped that, she was a mediator of this group. Like, and she kind of always has that's I, I find that that is her role. She's a mediator, and I love that for her. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna hold you. And of everyone in this group, she's the one who probably gives you the most um, fabiosity, ambiance, because her money is long, along with her fiance's money. Like together, they got the coins. Um, I'm hoping next season, though, we'll get more in depth to what's going on with her now, because I mean, she's going to be pregnant still. Well, depending on when they start filming, I would assume they pick it right back up. If they picked it back up, she's going to be still pregnant. So we get to see her in that journey, which I haven't really been able to watch a Real Housewives show um, like live because, again, I'm new to watching the Real Housewives shows. Um, I haven't been able to see a Real Housewives show, though, where um, the woman is actually actively pregnant on the show. Like Real Housewives, Housewives of Atlanta, I saw it, but I saw it later on after it all happened. So I, I am looking forward to seeing that. And also, too, I would love to hear, I'm, I'm sure in the reunion she'll talk about a little bit, her thoughts of, like, you know, her dad no longer being with us. But maybe we'll see more of that on the show, too. So I feel like she has plenty of story. Her story is not wrapped up. Um, also, when it comes to her looks, let's get into that. Because um, I don't want this video to be as long as the um, Beverly Hills, but I feel like it's going to be. <laughs> Um, cause there's more people anyway. So her reunion look this year and based off the theme, I feel like the theme is way more obvious. I feel like it's giving, they are like in Spain and it's very Spanish influence. Um, because you know, Mexico city was her big cast trip and they're mainly a Hispanic cast. So, you know, got, you know, the Haitian girls and then Cuban girls and then a Canadian and a Russian. Like, <laughs> it sounds like a really bad bar joke, but that is the cast in a nutshell. So it's very, it's a very diverse cast, which is why this is like my favorite franchise to watch because it's truly the most diverse cast I've seen in a minute. Um, but anyway, so 
she is expecting, we already know this. And so naturally she looks amazing in her dress. It is very simple, um, but I love the color on her. That red looks very, very good. Um, you can see that her pregnancy is really starting to show a little bit more in the face or so her lips are looking a little bit more luscious. Um, I do love when women um, are pregnant and, you know, when you're expecting as a woman, sometimes your facial features accentuate a little bit more. It kind of gives you a grown look in some way. Sometimes it doesn't work, but I feel like for her, it, oh man, she looks, she looks beautiful. She looks gorgeous. Um, she has her hair in this nice little, she has this going on with the updo. And y'all already saw the picture. I mean, I'm putting the picture right here at the same time. Y'all, y'all see it. And I, I just love this. This, this looks amazing. Um, so to rate it, I'm going to give it an 8.5. Like it's not bad. Um, I would have rated higher, higher if she would have taken a risk, but at the same time, because she is pregnant, I mean, she does need to be somewhat comfortable. You know, you can't be taken. It's harder to take a risk when you have a whole entire life growing inside you. And I did see a little bit of the sneak pre preview of the um, reunion. She actually had to stop and use the restroom in the middle of the reunion because, hello, you have a baby that sometimes is bouncing on your bladder. So, yeah. Anyway. So I would say, though, out of all of her reunion looks, so I'm going to put them up. Season four, I did not love that look. I love the dress, but not for a reunion. And I would say my favorite look for Dr. Nicole was season five's reunion look. Because season five's reunion look, which I don't think I ever went into what season five reunion's theme was, it was Vegas. Um, because it was based um, upon. because it was based upon Dr. Nicole's event that she had um, that her, her engagement party was like a Vegas theme engagement party. So I would say for Dr. Nicole, season five's reunion look was my favorite, but season six, her current look of her glowing, you know, being beautifully pregnant is a close second. Season four, she just got here, and I could tell she just got here. I'll, I'll be honest. Um, so, yeah, that's how I view Dr. Nicole overall. Next. Okay, so next is Alexia. Um, Alexia this season was her redemption season. So this was her redemption arc, and she did an amazing job this season of doing that. Like, she stayed out of trouble pretty much this whole entire season which that was amazing. And she also gave us an amazing cast trip. I know technically it's production that does that, but Mexico City was everything we needed. And I didn't even know how badly I wanted to see a Real Housewives show go to Mexico City until that happened. So it was like the, it was the cast trip I did not know I needed. <laughs> and it was so chaotic, so messy, but so awesome all at the same time. And I love that we saw a much softer side of Alexia and her rekindling and showing her support of Gertie. That chef's kiss. And also I think, and hopefully it doesn't bite me in the butt later. I love her, her friendship development between her and Julia. It seems like they truly are forming a friendship, actually. And I'm hoping that's what it is. And it's not just for the show. Because it... She cleaned it up. She cleaned things up very well. Because the season before, we knew she was unbearable. <laughs> and she whoop, flipped, flipped and reversed it. And now she, we back. So she had a great season. This was a good season for her. And... It was like every type, minus her issue with Dr. Nicole, because that Dr. Nicole thing, that's a whole nother thing. Because um, I think that's stumbled on, on jealousy. Because for those who don't know, um, and she even says it in her tagline, Alexia claims herself to be the Cuban doll. 
Dr. Nicole probably is the actual real Cuban doll. She's younger, you know, has, has her stuff together. It's not a front. Her money really is her money. Because one thing that we did not get into as much, because Alexi was acting the way she was, very strategic on her part, by the way, she managed to dip, dodge all of the potential rumors regarding her finances. And that was, that was genius. She did that. But I don't know if she's going to escape it come the reunion. We'll find that out if she does. But as far as the season, she escaped that. Because <laughs> Adriana kept trying to make it a thing. And um, even during the show, there was like very obvious hints that Adriana wasn't lying. But anyway. So this look this season for the reunion this year. I love it, but I don't know if I, I, it's a little safe. I love the dress though, and I would wear that. <laughs> like, that's the thing that's tricky about Real Housewives Miami's um, reviewing their fashions is the, the fashions be fashioning. It's just, so the bar, they set the bar so high, it's hard to really rate it. <laughs> like, I feel like with Beverly Hills and even like Salt Lake City and some of the other cities, it's an obvious no. You could go, it, it'd just be bad. But with hers, I like this for her. I love this all black. I like the lace. I love the shoes. I love the jewelry. I love that she went a little bit more simple with the makeup. She does not have the red lipstick. Um, I love it. But... So I am going to also give this an 8.5 because it is safe and she really could have taken a risk. Um, but I love the whole, I love the look. <laughs> I mean, I can't pretend I don't like it. Now, out of the, since the reboot, I would say between the three things when it comes to a reboot, Oh, man. So the season four, she wear, she's wearing the all gold with the, you know, red lipstick. She Her pose is not a great pose, so it makes me not like it as much. Season five is when she was getting attacked in all lines. That's all. I would say it's hard to judge Alexia because she kind of always goes safe when it comes to her fashions. Um, she's, she's, it's not her personality to kind of go over the top when it comes to her looks. Like she knows what works for her and that's what she wears. Um, so I would say between the three, I'll have to say season. Oh man. I'm going to have to, it's a tie between season five and season six again. Yeah, definitely a tie between season, you know what, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm trying to look at this one more time. No, I'm going to give it season five. Season five to me was the better look um, between the three. So, yeah, um, um, I want to. I want to, and also too, I forgot to mention, the other thing that makes Alexia just great for the show is her relationship with her son, Frankie. Like Frankie, without Alexia, we don't get Frankie. And as long, and as, long as Frankie is around and thriving and also he's improving, she has to, she, she's, she has to stay on the show. And I can't completely dislike Alexia because of Frankie. And because even when she was unbearable last season, because of Frankie, it made it where like she wasn't like, she didn't completely get the, oh my gosh, I'm over you, go away. Like Lisa gave the go away and same thing with even like Larsa gave the go away. Alexia, even though she was so unbearable last season because of Frankie, it was hard for me to be like, go away. It was like, but Frankie, though, <laughs> anyway, 
that's pretty much wraps up that. Okay, so the next person we're going to review, speaking, you know, without Alexia, we can't not look at Marisol. So Marisol's season this year was kind of interesting. Um, she had a couple of events that she hosted this season, which that's another thing that's different about Real Housewives of Miami versus other um, reunion, other um, franchises. The friend ofs get treated similar, very, very similar to full time. Other than just not being at the beginning, you know, of the the intro of like the show, they pretty much get the same energy for the most part. And um, so this season, outside of her, so she had two issues or two conflicts. She had um, Dr. Nicole, which again is one-sided. And then she had um, um, Adriana. And... The Adriana and and her, they kind of try to put the kibosh on it. Because I, because <laughs> even Marisol said it, she kind of broke the fourth wall. She's like, I'm sick of beefing with her on camera. <laughs> like, because it has been a beef that is starting to get old. And I think she even knew it. She's like, look, I can't keep beefing with you. But that was what she used to justify beefing with Dr. Nicole. <laughs> And that's one thing I love about Marisol, even though she's kind of toxic. She's so unserious. She's so unserious. I love it. I love her and I love it. And I love her and Kiki's dynamic. And I love how she was one of the few from day one that wasn't part of the first, the um, close circle of Gertie's friends that was asking about her constantly and had her back. She did it right away. It didn't take, it took nothing for her to be like, oh, no, no, no. How are you doing? Like this, that, and this, and that. And so, but Marisol, for the most part, stayed out of the mess. And I respected it and loved it. So, um, and then we also had a little bit of tension between her and um, Alexia. So she kind of got from behind Alexia a little bit, um, which I actually like too, because it's like, okay. We're, we're getting more of you. This was probably the first season while we got more of her and not her being um, Alexia's sidekick as much. So I liked it. I did like it. I, like, I liked her season. She had a decent season. I'm not even, it wasn't bad at all. She really didn't, she really wasn't, you know, an issue. Um, now, I am curious to know what is going on with her health because We've seen little inklings of this. And I and and this is just me being a viewer. I I don't want to be disrespectful of like when it comes to like maybe she really does have some serious health issues. But it's been a thing since Ultimate Girls Trip when they're in Thailand. She's been, been getting sick. And okay, it's an easy thing to say, oh well, she drinks too much. I don't think that's what it is all the way. Um I, because she is older. So, um, but I would say out of all the seasons, she probably physically has looked her best this season in a while. Um, anyway, so on to the reunion look. I'll be honest, this is my favorite look of hers. I love this look on her. She looks, this is her best look. I'm going to give this look, because um, it suits her. It actually is a very, very good look. Um, I'm gonna give it a nine. I like it. I like it. Um, it is because she does have a little bit of a risk here. Um, she played with she played with the fashion a little bit more, and with this look, it doesn't look like the dress is wearing her. Sometimes she she is another one of those housewives where the dress looks like it's wearing her, and this is the first time where that dress looks like she she's wearing the dress. So this, yeah. I'll give it a solid nine. Um, and with that being said, if I was to do a comparison of the other reunion looks, it's easily the best reunion look she's had. So <laughs> season four, the dress was wearing her. I feel like she actually needed something similar to what she's wearing this season to kind of accentuate the figure a little bit. So it didn't just look like she has like a, a draping dress. Um, 
Because the dress looks like a gold gown. It doesn't look like a dress. Like, it doesn't look like, it just is like, whoosh, like very straight. No, doesn't accentuate anything. And the dress is definitely wearing her in season four. Um, I do like the makeup more in season four and I like the earrings. So the accessories for me are my favorite for season four. Um, season five. It was giving mother of the bride. Um, and she kind of gives that just in general. Um, that is kind of like her style. A lot of times when it comes to reunion looks, it's definitely matron-like. But I kind of expect it because she's an old G of the cast. So you, someone needs to give that energy. And if it's going to be her, that's fine. Um, I do like season five's dress. And she did improve from season four. I didn't love the makeup, though. And I don't know if I care for the updo. So, yeah, season six, this reunion look was clearly my favorite for her. I like her hair down. She just looks very, she just looks very healthy here. So it's my favorite. Anyway, next. Larsa, 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 the ultimate villain on this cast. Um, she didn't really disappoint. Um, I hope she, I just hope she gets chewed up during the reunion. <laughs> That's my goal for her is get chewed up during the reunion. And, um, Besides getting chewed up during the reunion, I will say the other thing about her during the season that I found annoying, and I really just hope for next season. She's one of the few that I do hope for for next season. Stop forcing the storyline of you and Marcus. No one cares, and no one believes the relationship. Just stop it. I don't care. I need you to actually show your real life and stop hiding. Um, because she clearly is not showing her real life. It's not real. <laughs> I don't believe anything that she's presenting to us. And she clearly is so obviously using this show to build her brand and businesses, which I don't mind that from a housewife. And really, if anything, that's exactly what you should be doing. But it's giving capitalist, capitalists like how bad she does it. It's just so forced. I feel like even with Candy from like Real Housewives of Atlanta, it's not a forced product placement. It just happens to be a thing. And Candy isn't always doing that. I mean, she, yes, she does, but I mean, she didn't always do it like since the beginning. She started doing it more in recent years. And so, and that's not all she's leading with. With Larsa, that's literally all she leads with. <laughs> so it's just kind of annoying. Um, when it comes to look this time around. Um, <sighs> it's hard for me to rate this current reunion look because it's very similar to another cast member. They both look like they went into the same closet. And so... I don't know who did it better. It's kind of like, it, it's giving that. They both kind of did a similar thing. Um, I will say though, this is, man, I do like it. But I don't know if I love it. And I love the risk. And again, I don't know who did it better. That's kind of part of the issue. So, I'm going to give this a nine. I'm going to give it a nine. I'm going to give it a nine. You, if you know this, it's hard for me to rate low when it comes to Real Housewives in Miami because everyone is, their fashions are very good on this franchise. Um, now, if I was to compare this to other seasons, uh... So for Larsa, it's actually interesting. Season four and this season's reunion is probably the best two looks that she's had. Season five was too basic for me. 
It was very basic, very safe. I feel like she could wear that anywhere. She's not wearing that reunion. See, this this season's reunion is definitely a reunion look. Like, you're not just wearing that anywhere. And so I like that she bumped it up a notch because of that. Um, <clears throat> season four, although... Yeah, I gotta give it to season six because season four was probably... I love her makeup more and I love her hair more for season um, four. And it doesn't look like her fillers are just... Her fillers aren't as bad on her face as they are now. I feel like her fillers have gotten so much worse throughout the years. Like she looks kind of cartoonish now when it comes to her fillers on her face. Because y'all know that's not her real... That's not her original face. Um... But, like, I feel like season four, she still kind of looked like Larsa before all the fillers. Like, th there it still was a transition stage in between. Season five, that's the Larsa we know today as far as the face. And same thing with season six. But I would, I think season four was better when it came to her face and her um, hair. The dress left to be desired. Yeah, season six is easily the best look that she's had so far. From one self-absorbed castmate to another. Oh, Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. You already know how I felt about Lisa this season. She was unbearable um, and very Karen-esque. Um, and it explains this season was a season that I think she thought she was going to be more vindicated when it comes to her divorce. Apologies. I hate coughing on camera, so I paused it. Okay, um... I think she thought she was going to be more vindicated from the divorce. But what really happened was, oh man, she actually made herself look much worse. And she helped justify, helped me understand how she was with Lenny for so long. Because they're kind of in the same vein. Not the best people. Um, at least how she kind of just abandoned her family. Like her actual real family. Like her parents. And everyone from at home over having a fabulous life. Yeah. And all the Karen S behavior throughout the season. So there's that. Um, that's pretty much all I have to have, have to say about that when it comes to her season. Now this reunion look. Um, man. Of everyone, and I will say this just in general, of everyone, Lisa does not dress like her, her fashions are probably the least good. She probably is the least fashionable out of all the ladies. She relies on like her kind of Barbie doll looking figure, I feel like, but that's about it. So I would say when it comes to her look, I'm going to give it a seven. I mean, it's all right, but like, I don't, it's very basic. When it comes to reunion and very safe. Um, and it's not really anything special. Like you can wear that dress outside of a reunion. It, it doesn't require a reunion for you to wear that kind of a dress. So I will say that about that. If I was compared to other um, reunion looks in previous seasons. Um, season five. As much as I like that reunion look. She's worn it in her confession. She wore a similar look in her confessional throughout this season. So it makes me feel differently about that look now that we've seen the dress kind of again, but a different way. Like, she likes that. Like, the season five reunion look is something she would wear in general, too. It's not really a reunion look. She's going to be the first one I said season four's reunion look is probably the best she's looked. Season four was her best. Yeah. But she still had a marriage. And maybe it has to do with like her state of mind. But I would say season four was probably like her. That was my favorite. It still would be something I feel like she would wear. No. Season four she wouldn't wear. I don't think she would wear that outside reunion. Um, it's more formal. It is giving prom. But I would say season four was probably the best. Now Gertie. Um, what can I say? Um, this was definitely a good, uh, it was a challenging season for Gertie, but it was because of what she was fighting health wise. 
Outside of that, she had a great season. And I do like at the very end, we do find out that she's cancer free. And I love that she was that, um, she was able to bring us to her journey of something very personal, very hard, very difficult to deal with. Um, and she shared herself and her life and her health challenges with us. So that I appreciate. And I don't really have anything else to say when it comes to that because I feel like throughout the season, I express how I felt about Gertie. So it's not really, I feel like I'm regurgitating at this point. So let's at least get to, let's get to the fashions of the reunion. Gertie, for those who don't know, she actually kind of is the fat, one of the fashion queens on this show. So her reunion look is usually the look that's going to bring it. It usually is that. I would say this year, this reunion look, I love it. I love it. And I feel like she took a risk mainly because for one, she's not wearing a wig. She refused. Ever since she, um, you know, had to go through chemo or whatever, she's been rocking this fade and she's rocking this fade with this dress and it's giving Grace Jones for me. Like, I like it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I will say this though. It's not my favorite reunion look from Gertie because her bar is <laughs> She has set the bar for herself so high because every union she's, she literally is usually the best dressed one of the cast every single reunion. And I don't think this year she is. I think someone beat her. Um, and you might know who I think it is, but yeah, I do like this look. I don't, so I'm going to give this one a nine. <laughs> Actually, no, I have to give it 8.5 because it's not the best look. And between the three seasons with Gertie. Oh, man. You know what? I'll be honest. Nothing's going to beat season four. That season four look was everything. She looked like a goddess. Y'all know it. That was the look. That was the one. And because she had such a high bar, her first reunion, I mean, it's hard for her to really match it. And let's not get it twisted. Season five is a great reunion look too. It's actually quite beautiful and quite amazing because that body was by body ing. And even I love how with this um, season six, this this year's reunion, I love how she even still is showing her bo given body with this too. Like, I love it. Like, it's nice too. But yeah, season four was, that was the one. So that's kind of where I got, got for like Gertie. Um, I am curious to know what she's going to bring next season because now we know she's cancer free. So I'm wondering, well, is her story going to be for next season? That's the one thing I am curious about. But I hope she eats Larsa up during this reunion. Because you knew her beef was with Larsa for obvious reasons. She, that was the only person she was really beefing with. And I hope Lisa gets some of the smoke too because Lisa was giving team too much too. She was trying to pretend that her divorce of a, a, almost a billionaire is just as dramatic as fighting for your life. Yeah. Now on to Julia. Julia was fighting for her check this season. She was the pot stirrer this season and she developed more friendships and um, she got into it. She was in the mix a lot more this season. So I will say Julia overall this season, she, she brought it um, because <laughs> her pot stirring and the way she does it was in a way that only she could do because I do highly believe part of it is what it makes it kind of interesting is that Julia, um, you know, she's, she's Russian. And so I feel like there's certain cues um, and, and I know she's been in the States for a long time and she's been Westernized for a hot minute or whatever, but I will just say there's a certain cues that she does not, 
she doesn't she isn't as good about as probably if she was like you know if, if there wasn't such a cultural difference and so her messiness manifests itself in a different way because of that and also too it's like her her i mean because then you know russian culture they're blunt but like the bluntness is different and so like i'll, I'll just say this julia entertained me this season julia was she did she gave what needed to be given like it was great um it did come off force here and there, but it still was good. Now her reunion look. Girl. <laughs> it is very... I don't know if this was symbolic of how you're acting this season or what, but girl. Oh my God. I hate to do this, but I gotta give you a seven. I gotta, yeah, I can't give you a high score on that. Wait, I'll give you 7.5. I'm gonna give you 0.5 because you took a risk, but the risk just didn't land. It's the risk that did not land. Um, someone had to take the risk because no one else was doing it. She took the risk. Um, and that is one thing I do respect about Julia. She is a fashion girl, but with Julia, either the fashions land or they don't. There's no happy medium with her because she is the one who will take a risk. She'll take a fashion risk. And it just didn't land. Now the body's bodying. I love that she's a little, she, you could tell between season four, five and six, she lost some weight. So it's given, I just wouldn't wear this for a union, like at all. I don't even know where I would wear that at at all. I wouldn't even wear that. I'll just say that. I wouldn't even wear it. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a risk that she was taking. And she's not wearing, um, she's wearing, I don't know, it's giving Peggy Bundy. It's giving high couture Pe Kelly Bundy. That's all I could think of because of the leopard pants. High couture Kelly Bundy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel bad that it's what I'm thinking, but it is what I'm thinking, high couture Kelly Bundy. But Kelly Bundy, um... I think her, her, her real name is Kathy um, Sagal. She had a body on her w during, those, during those times of Married with Children with that wig. Because <laughs> I hope y'all knew that was a wig. That was never her hair. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, <clears throat> so out of all the looks, season four was... Season... So it's weird. Julia literally has a spectrum, and I don't think you, you'll you never know what she's going to wear. Because season four was the most safest of safest dresses. She went all the way safe in season four. Season six, she went the opposite extreme and went way risky. But season five was risque, but it paid off. I would say I have all the luck season five was the one. Season five was the one. She looked beautiful in season five. I love that season five reunion look on her. She literally looked up. She looked like a Bond girl, like Casino Royale, like that that um, Bond girl. She looks like she looks like a Bond girl. So yeah, my favorite look definitely for her was season five's reunion look um, between the three. All right. <clears throat> so next we have Adriana. Um, Adriana this season. <laughs> she was still up to her pot stirring ways um i will say this i kind of wish that we would have found like got a follow-up on the ketamine and how that whole treatment thing was going for her maybe we'll find out during the reunion how that went for her but yeah adriana was still super messy this season um I think she put her messiness on a huge pause once we found out everything that was going on with Gertie. She kind of put the kibosh on it um, for the most part. She still found ways to be messy, but just wasn't as bad. And um, she she kind of switched her focus on that. And a lot of um, her storyline this season was her music and working with Emilio. So, I mean, I have no complaints. I love Adriana on this show because I love she's what she... Is not afraid to start the mess. And usually she started the mess with the people you want her to start the mess with anyway. Um, Larsa. I want her to continue to keep her foot on Larsa's neck. Um, I love that. 
I do not love, though, that she is a little bit of a Lisa apologist. <laughs> She she does give Lisa a lot of grace, and I do get that. We do need to hear that because we need to hear that perspective of, look, divorce is hard. But you also need, I feel like she's not um, doing enough of, okay, divorce is hard, but there's a situation over here that is much worse. So I, you can still feel your feels, but... Don't be overshadowing the lady who literally is fighting for her life. It's, I kind of want it, I want that hopefully moving forward. She's a little bit better about that. Um, now the reunion look, this is actually who I was referring to with Larsa. Larsa and her had a similar idea, but I think Adriana executed it just a little bit better. And the only reason why I'm going to say this is it actually just fits Adriana a little bit more. Adriana this season stepped up her fashion and has not looked back. Like, this has been Adriana's season when it comes to fashion. Like, whoever is her stylist this season, she needs to keep them moving forward because they have gotten her looking like a million dollars. Like, so I think, honestly... If I was to rate between Larsa and her when it comes to that, because I think I gave Larsa a 9, I am going to give her a 9.5. I think her, she did a little bit better than Larsa when it came to her look. And I both I feel like they both are kind of going for Frida. Um, but Adriana did it better. It's just, it, it looks so good. It looks, it looks amazing. The flowers, the headdress. Oh my gosh, I love it. And it's definitely very reunion. So um, <clears throat> I would say of all her looks, this is easily her best look. Um, season five, she looked like a bomb girl. Like so she bomb girl. So she executed that well. Um, Casino Royale. And season four, this was not a good look for her. The dress was wearing her and she looked really, really. It made her look big. And Adriana is not a big girl. Adriana has a body, but it's like a, it's in all the right spots. Um, but I will say, yeah, this season six was her look. That was her look. Um, she brought it. So that's what I have for that. All right. Last, but certainly not least. And hopefully she gets a mojito come next season. Kiki, do you love me? Are you right? Yes, Miss Kiki. And um, what can I say? This season, she brought it. She brought it. I mean, if I'm telling you, if I'm saying give her a mojito, that's all you need to know. I don't need to go into anything else. And I hope come this reunion, she eats Lisa up again. Keep your foot on her neck, especially if she tries to go after your Haitian sister um, A.K. Gertie, don't let it happen. Don't let it happen. Don't let it happen. And I also hope, um, I did notice, um, just from social media and whatnot, Kiki and Larsa, I don't think they're in a good place anymore. So I feel like something's going to happen in reunion when it comes to them too. Um, but man, Kiki and Gertie versus Larsa and Lisa. That's drama that I didn't know I wanted, but maybe I do want it. I don't know. I don't know. But Haitian sisters unite. Um, <laughs> so let's go to the looks, though. It's a 10. It's a 10 for me. It is a 10 out of 10. She nailed this. This is giving, I just came off the runway, and now I'm here at this reunion. And now I'm going to go and then strut away back onto the runway. So I did allude to earlier on that I think someone outdid Gertie this year, and it was Kiki. Kiki outdid her. She did. Um, Kiki, I think she knew that her season was, I think she knows that her season was her season. And I think she realizes that she probably did do enough to get a mojito, like actually. I want to see the opening scenes with her. And I want them to do a new one, too. Like, they use the same one that they've been using for the past couple seasons for, for Miami. 
I get they've been on Peacock, but y'all got the coin, so do a new um, intro for the for the ladies next season. But um, yeah, I I do want her to be bumped up to full time. I do, I do, I do, I do. I want to know more about her. We got a little bit more. We got to learn more about her this season, but I want to know more. I want to know more. And she has even said it herself. She does want to be full time. She's she so she's willing to share. So let's do it. <laughs> like let's let's get to it. Um, but yeah, this red looks so beautiful on her skin. That gold trim that's like around here. And I don't know what this get up is, but I love it. It is a risk. It's just the right amount of risk. And then that red. And then because she is a model, she knows how to pose. So she's posing perfectly. She's showing this is what I got going. And she's looking like money. Now, she's only, this has only been her second reunion. So her first reunion was season five. And she was kind of barely on the stage because she was literally a true, a true friend of. Because with Real, House of, uh, Real Housewives of Miami, the other friend ofs were our legacy cast members who have been around since like season one. Um, and that's Marisol and Adriana. So even though they're friend ofs, they've never really been given friend of vibes. Kiki's like the only one that was truly a new lady in the group who is a true kind of definition of friend of. The only difference is with her is that because she is on this franchise, she's still getting treated, or, you know, the way she should be getting treated. Except for the fact that the ladies kind of, I hope she does address the ladies with them bailing on her event because they did kind of screw her over. If they would have not bailed in her event, she would have got seen. And just like, because all the ladies on this cast have had an event, including the friend ofs. And except for they bailed on her event, so her event didn't happen. It was never aired. So that I do have an issue with that. Hopefully she dresses the rest of the ladies on that. Um, but anyway, yeah, see, last, so season five, I like this dress on her because she's given body. Um, she definitely looks like a Bond girl. It's just that season six of budget was budgeting. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. She looks like money. It's like, it is easily my favorite look so far of Kiki. And I know she got more on her to bring it because throughout the whole entire season, she was bringing the fashions. Like I have said it multiple times on this little like fashion kind of recap. The Real Housewives of Miami, if you want to get some fashions and ambiance, this is a show for you. You're going to get both. Um, and you're going to get diversity. And you're going to get, see some um, and inclusion. You're going to see all of it. And you're going to get some sunshine, which is refreshing based off the time of the year they filmed this because they feel like that we that they air it because I think they filmed it, you know, they filmed it back like in, you know, springtime. But when they air it, spring summer but when they air they you know we're seeing this in the winter months which is what me personally i need to see some sun and excellence and all that and it makes me want to just go to miami even though i'm like not really someone who really wants to go to florida at all even miami nonetheless but it makes me want to check it out <laughs> i mean if a show makes you want to actually visit it's doing its thing so anyway, but that does conclude the review of uh, the fashion looks of the reunion. Um, let me know which approach you liked more. If I need to say less about how I feel about the season, hold off till after the reunion to do that. Um, I believe this franchise is also going to have a three-part reunion similar to Beverly Hills. So I really just want the reunion to be the reunion and not review the season. So I, I guess that was kind of my thinking of why I decided to do the review of the season um, prior to the reunion with the looks, because otherwise the video wouldn't be very long. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to do another long forming video, honestly. But anyway, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner, and I will see you next time. Bye.